First thing we're going to have a look at is sweeps, uh, which is the obviously the most unique sound with brushes, and it's the most for me it's the most important technique to develop. Um, so it's really important that we have a lateral approach uh, because sweeps are lateral, and it's important to uh, hold the brush in a grip that allows for that. So what I like to do is a hold it in a French grip, uh, and that allows for this side to side movement. So you can think about it as holding in German grip, which is up and down, and then you simply twist your hand and it's exactly the same movement, just in a sideways fashion. All right, so first we're going to do is an outward sweep. Um, and there's two components to this. So it's the sweep and release. All right, so with the release, what you wanna do is release the brush handle, the base of the brush handle from your palm and allow it to extend outwards. What you don't want to do is this. We don't want to use our wrist. All right, so you sweep and it's like you let it go. It's like you're, you're throwing a frisbee. It's that kind of motion. So we sweep with our arm, we lift and then release. Let's just practice it nice and mechanically and robotic and then we'll uh, make it more fluid later. So sweep, lift, release, and reset. Sweep, lift, release, reset. So you'll notice from this angle, from my elbow to the thumb, it's a straight line. And the wrist doesn't move. We don't want that to happen. So always lift. Sorry, always release the brush after you've lift. All right, so now for the inward sweep, we start in this open position and we keep that position in our hand. Uh, while we sweep inwards using our forearm only. All right, so we hold it in the open position, sweep using our forearm, then we lift and close our hand. So start in the open position, open position, sweep, lift and close. Sweep, lift and close. Now the temptation with this is to do this, to close the hand while we're on the head. We don't want to do that because uh, good lateral brush movement, it's all about moving the arm first and letting the brush follow. All right? if, we, if we close our hand on uh, during the sweep, then that means that the brush is doing the work. You don't want that. The, the brush needs to do the, like the end of the movement, if that makes sense. All right, so inward sweep, we open position, move our arm, lift and close the hand, reset. Lift, close, reset. Lift, close, reset. All right, so now let's put all that together. So there's four movements. Sweep, lift and open. Sweep, lift, close. Sweep. Lift open, sweep, lift close. Okay, now onto the left hand. We're gonna do exactly the same thing with our left. Uh, so I'll just say that I play brushes in trad grip with my left hand or the non-dominant hand. Uh, but everything that I do in trad grip is possible with match grip as well, um, which, which we can talk about later. So if you are using match grip in your non-dominant hand, it's, it's exactly the same motion that we did with the dominant hand. So open, 
close. You always change that angle of the brush in the air, not on the drum, okay? All right, so to, tra to trad grip, we're gonna start with a closed hand. So we're curling our fingers and that creates almost a 90 degree angle between our forearm and brush. Uh, so we, we're going to work on, let's work on the outwards, uh, sorry, the inward stroke first. So um, we start with extended fingers, move our arm inwards, lift and then close to that curled position. Reset, extend, sweep, lift and close. Reset. All right, so now for the outward stroke, start with curled fingers, sweep outwards, lift, extend the fingers. Then we'll reset. Lift, extend, reset, close position. Now sometimes the temptation with this is to use our arm uh, that kind of moves back and forth from our body. So even though we're going in this diagonal sort of shape, uh, the, the hand doesn't need to do that. Um, that. That more comes from the fingers eventually. So the hand literally is just moving from left to right, just, just like that. So your elbow should not be uh, coming away from your body at this point. All right, so uh, outward stroke, outward sweep, sorry. Lift and extend, reset. Lift, extend, reset. All right, so now to join those uh, two motions. Uh, so it's a four step motion. So, um, sorry, we'll start with the inward sweep. So start extended, sweep in, lift, close. Sweep out, lift, extend. Sweep in, lift, close, sweep out. Lift, extend. All right, let's go back to our right hand, our dominant hand, and we're going to uh, play a little bit faster now. So we'll go one and two and three. So on every and, we lift and change the angle of the brush. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and uh, non dominant hand or left hand we'll start with the inward sweep so start in the extend position same tempo three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and last time one and two and three and four and all right we're going to do exactly the same thing now but with a backing track this is a like a ballad track um, and it only goes for a minute. So we'll start with the right hand, then we'll move to the left. Ready, go. I'll just let someone in. Sorry, let's start that again. Two, three, four.
All right, same thing again, our left hand or non-dominant hand. Starting with the inward sweep. Ready, go. Now we're going to move to what I call a core technique. Um, for me, core techniques, uh, uh, which there are four, uh, they're methods of moving the brushes that allow you to do different things. So this specific one is called two direction singles, and it's called two direction because both brushes go outwards and inwards, pretty much similar to exactly what we've just been doing, uh, but they're alternating. So it goes right hand, uh, sorry, right, left, right, left, right outwards, left outwards, right inwards, left inwards. In this kind of fashion. All right, so uh, what's really important to, um, to know with this one is firstly the brush, uh, the right hand goes out on one, in on three, left hand goes out on two, in on four. So one, two, three, four, okay? Now what's really important is that uh, you want to think of this in the shape of a letter V. All right. If, if you sweep like we were doing before, this is going to happen. One, two, three, four. Your left hand's going to cross over your right. So to avoid that, so that's kind of in a it's shape of the letter X. To avoid that, you want to think about the letter V. Or another way to think about it is, um, let's say there's two brothers sharing a, a bedroom and they draw a line in the middle of the carpet, in the middle of the room, and this brother says, you're not allowed to cross this line, and that brother says, you're not allowed to cross that line, okay? So this is one brother, second brother. Um, all right, so it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Uh, and the other thing you need to, uh, the other thing you need to focus on is trying to maintain the change of the brush angle once you've lifted the brush. So it's the end of the sweep. I'm still doing that motion that we started with. So you don't wanna change the angle of the brush on the head. All right, so two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. All right, we're going to play this uh, 16th notes at 30 beats a minute, and then we're going to speed it up and we'll eventually turn this into a funk groove. Three, E, and, a. Uh, four, E, and, a. Uh, two. Remember, keep that V shape.
Okay, so uh, if there's any of you out there that are finding the coordination of this difficult, what I suggest you do is um, make everything more compact, make all the movements smaller. And that's also going to help us when we start increasing the tempo, uh, which we're going to do now. Let's go up to 40 beats a minute. Two, three, and uh, four, and uh, one. Okay, let's go faster. Two, three, and a four, and a one. We keep it nice and small now. Now we're going to add an accent. So we're going to play this in 4-4 four, four now. We're going to add, add an accent on beats 2 and 4 to turn this into a funk groove. Uh, the way we're going to play the accent um, is a rim shot with a brush. So rim shots are very easy with a brush compared to a stick uh, because the way we do it is we hit the rim of the drum with the handle of the brush, so the very handle, don't hit it with the wires. Uh, you hit it, and then because the wires are flexible, they, they do the rest of the movement. And you get that rim shot sound. So the way we're going to add this is one, E, and a, uh, two. So on beats two, you hit the brush, and you don't need to sweep afterwards. You just need to continue traveling to the outside of the drum, and move into that open position with your hand. So slowly it looks like this. One, E, and a, uh, two, E, and a, uh, three, E, and a, uh, four, E, and a, uh, one, E, and a, uh, two, E, and a, uh, three, and four, E, and a. Uh. So let's try that uh, at the tempo we did before. And we'll add that in. Two, three, four, and uh, one. All right, let's go faster. And this time, um, let's add some kick drums. If you're at a kit, add the kick on one and three just to start with, and then when, once you start feeling comfortable with it, you can um, play different kick drums wherever you like. But I'm going to play it on one and three for now. And I'll also play hi-hats on the off beats with my foot. One, two, three, and a four, and a one.
So if you're not used to moving your brushes in these lateral motions, uh, it might take you a while to, to get this, uh, the, these motions kind of smooth. Uh, what I find happens with a lot of my students when they're first trying this, once they start, um, once they start speeding things up, they go back to this wrist movement. as opposed to relying more on your arms and, and releasing the brush with your fingers. Uh, that's, that's what you really want to aim for. So the very first exercise I showed you, where we break down every single movement, the lift and the open, lift and close. Uh, that's really important to get uh, in getting this funk kind of motion. Yep, so spend, spend a little bit of time with the uh, initial movement. Uh, all right, let's, let's speed it up again, because um, we're eventually going to play this with a backing track. One, two, three, and a four, and a... Let's try this with a backing track. This is a little bit faster. Uh, it's just one bar in, then straight into it. Two, three, four. Okay. All right, so that's the groove components of today. We'll, we'll come back to that groove in a little bit. Now we're going to work on uh, an improvisation component. So these are what I call um, sticking cells, even though they're brush brushes. It doesn't sound as good when you say brushing cells. So we'll just stick with sticking cells. Um, all right, so this is a three note cell. Um, so uh, the way it goes is right, left, right, right, left, right. So there's three notes. The first right is an outwards, uh, the left hand is an inwards, and then the next right is an inwards. So it goes out, left, in, out, left, in, out, left, in, out, left, in. Out, left, in, out, left, in, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now the way I'm playing the right hands is I'm bouncing the brush off the head. These are what I call angled taps. As opposed to playing a vertical tap, uh, which has a very staccato sound, which is useful, obviously. Uh, we 
I'm aiming for a, a sound that's a little bit that has a little bit more length to it. So it's like a tap and a sweep combined. So instead of a tap, tap, it's more of a chap. All right, so out, left, in, out, left, in, out, left, in, out, left, in. All right, now the way we're going to work on this is we're going to play it in uh, three subdivisions. We're going to start it in eighth notes. So because it's a three note cell, it's going to take three bars to, to get back to, uh, to bar one. Uh, so eighth notes, then three bars of triplets, then three bars of sixteenth notes. So we'll get the click. So still in four four. Um, so I'll just play it for a while and join in. Two and three and four and one. Two. And three, two, and two. three. Cool. Start again. One, two, three, go. And one, two, three. All right. Now the triplets. And a four and a one, two. Uh, again, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, now a sixteenth. Three and a four and a one. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, three. All right, now we're going to join all, the, uh, all of that up. So three bars at eighth notes, three bars as triplets, three bars as sixteenth notes, and uh, then we'll repeat back to eighth notes. One, and two, and re. Go and uh, one, two, three, triplets, go. Back to eighth notes, go. One, two, three, and triplets. One, two, three, sixteenths, go. Finish here. All right, let's bump up the tempo. One, two, and ready, go. And one, two, three.
stance. One, two, three, back to eight. One, two, three, triplets. Alright, let's speed it up one more time, then we'll work on these as uh, some fills. Uh, two bars in. One, two, one, and two, and ready, go. And one, two, three, triplet. Now we're going to work this into a swing groove. We're going to play three bars of a swing groove, then one bar uh, of this cell as triplets. Um, to first demonstrate the swing groove that I use, I use a, a lateral approach, and on every quarter we're playing an outward sweep. So it's one, two, uh, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four. So going into the, um, the three note cell, because the swing groove starts with an outwards right hand and the three note cell also starts with an outwards right hand, uh, it works really nicely, it flows into it. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate one bar of the swing groove, one bar of the triplets and back and forth. One, two, uh, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, one. Go a little bit faster and we'll play a four bar phrase. So three bars of the swing, one bar of the, uh, of the fill. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Three, here we go. All right, let's play this with a backing track. This is a uh, swing at 120. One, oh, I keep forgetting how many bars the countings are. All right, one bar, two, ready, go. Two. Here we go.
Do the same thing again. 30 beats faster, 150. So uh, again, as we're going faster, make everything more compact and smaller. We don't have as much time to move the brush all the way across the head, so make everything smaller. Um, here we go. Go. Two. So that's how we can use it in a, a swing groove. Uh, now we're going to use that same cell in the funk groove that we played before. So because in 16th notes it takes three bars to resolve back to the first position, it also takes three beats. So we're going to play this as a three beat fill, uh, a 16th note, starting on beat two of the funk groove. Um, so what I'll do is I'll demonstrate one bar of the funk groove going into uh, the fill. So one E and uh, two. Whoops, sorry. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and four. One E and uh, two E and three E R four and R one. Let's all play it together. Two, three, e and a four, e and a one. Here we go. One, two, e and a three, e and a four, e and a one. So with this one, I'm accenting the left hand. So I'll show you from this angle. Three, E, and a uh, four, E, and a uh, one. One, two, E, and a uh, four, E, and a uh, one. So the right hand's are nice and light. The left hand, I'm playing what I call a, a slap stroke, very similar to a slap and a conga. So you, you're forcing all the brush into the head. Uh, also the very end of the brush handle lands on the head. You get a very high pitch uh, accent. It's also very important that you hold your brush uh, at an angle low to the, to the head. If you're up higher like this, it's very hard to get that part of the handle onto the head. So the lower the better. So you, you can see here, there's not really much room between the brush handle and the rim. That's how close I am. All right, so let's try, uh, let's try that again. Sixteenth notes, one bar of each. Three e and a uh, four e and a uh, one. Go a little bit faster, now we'll play a four bar phrase. 
three of the funk, one of the fill. One, two, two a three, and a four, and a... Two. Three. Here we go. Try this with a backing track. Uh, so that's 78 bits a minute. Here we go. Uh, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 